Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to Small World and thank you for joining me with today's video. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make miniature garbage bags and 3D printed metal garbage cans. Let's get started with the garbage bags. I start by using real garbage bags and I lay it out as flat as I can on my workbench. The right side of the bag on screen is actually the bottom seam of the bag. I line my ruler roughly one and a quarter inches away from the bottom edge and then I cut through the bag with my X-Acto blade. Make sure you take your time and use a sharp blade. Also, be sure to cut all the way through both layers of the bag. Here's the strip I just cut, and you can see that the piece is folded perfectly in half since I cut along the bottom seam of the bag. Next, I laid the folded strip back on my cutting mat, and I cut the strip roughly to two and a half inches long. For the next step, I use a flat iron to close two of the open edges to form the strip into a bag. I simply just clamp the open edges of the strip between the iron to close that edge. I do this along the open edge that runs the length of the strip, as well as one of the shorter edges which will act as the bottom of the bag. Along the top edge of the bag that I left open, I stick my tweezers in and grab the bottom of the bag. Then I start pulling the top of the bag down to make it go inside out. Doing this gives the proper looking seams and it makes the bag just look like the real thing. I use a funnel to fill the bag about halfway up with sand. I've used paper towels in the past to fill the bags, but I've always had issues with the bags not sitting naturally when doing this. Sand gives the bags a good weight and allows them to be positioned however you'd like. As you can see, there's just a little less than half of the bag full. Next, I can start twisting the plastic above the sand where I want the top of the bag to be. Then, I put the twisted plastic between the flat iron and I continue to twist to make an airtight seal which will give you something that looks like this. I cut off any excess plastic on top and this is the final look at the bag. I think this nicely resembles the look of a garbage bag and the twisted piece on top looks like a tied knot. I really enjoy making these bags so here are a few more that I made. Here's a 3D model that I made for the garbage can, and if you're interested, you can download the files for yourselves on my Patreon, link in the description below. After I printed and cleaned the parts for the can, I started to remove the supports using my X-Acto blade. The can itself is very thin and fragile, so I used the blunt end of a paintbrush to dig out all the supports inside the can. Any excess support bits were cleaned off with my X-Acto blade, and then scrubbed away with an old toothbrush. Then, I lightly sand the rim of the can to remove any small support nubs left in place using some 400 grit sandpaper. Here's how the can looks with the supports removed. I repeat the same steps for the lid of the can, as well as the two handles that go on either side. I've gotten some questions in the past on why I remove supports using a blade, rather than softening them in warm water and simply just peeling the supports away from the model, which is a great technique for removing the supports from larger robust models. The reason for using the blade is my prints are super thin, some range between 0.03 inches and 0.01 inches thick. Soaking the non-post-cured print in hot water can cause it to warp and the force of peeling the supports away can easily tear or distort the print. So that's why I go with the longer, messier method of cutting the supports away with a knife. I mark where I want the handles to go on either side of the garbage can and I glue each handle in place using super glue. and here's the fully assembled garbage can, and because I printed spare parts, I decided to make a second one. For painting, I start by applying a piece of double-sided tape to a piece of foam core, and I stick the individual pieces of the garbage can to the tape. I use my airbrush to apply a semi-gloss black base coat to all the parts. I'm going to be applying all clad chrome over top of this layer, which relies on the previous layer for the metallic sheen. I'm using the semi-gloss black because I don't want a full glossy mirror chrome effect, just a nice shiny metallic finish. Once the black base coat is dry, I apply the chrome layer. The chrome paint dries almost instantly, and I slowly build up the paint until I'm happy with the coverage.
After applying the chrome, I weather the cans using some Van Dyke Brown acrylic paint. I just randomly apply it all over the surface and then wipe it away with a paper towel. This leaves a subtle staining on the surface and I think it looks very convincing. After painting, I test fit the garbage bag that I made earlier and it fits perfectly within the garbage can. This little project was super quick and easy to do and I had lots of fun doing it. I love how the bags were made using real garbage bags and I'm really happy with the metallic sheen of the garbage cans. Here are some push carts I made over a year ago, piled high with garbage bags. I made them exactly the same way that I showed in this video. These little bags and garbage cans are great details to add to any diorama or miniature display. Within this past week, I've gotten lots of new viewers from my cabin video, and in that video, I mentioned doing longer formatted videos. I still plan on doing the longer videos, but I thought that in the meantime, it wouldn't hurt to upload shorter ones like these again between the longer diorama videos. Also, I want to thank all of my Patreon supporters for helping me create these videos and keeping these projects affordable for me. I really appreciate all of your help, so thank you so much. If you'd like to join my awesome supporters and join my Patreon, I'd absolutely love that. In return, you'd have access to my work in progress photos as I'm working on the new projects, as well as 3D files from all of my projects, including this garbage can. I'll leave a link to Patreon in the description below. Well anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.